So you guys can see, I'm back on the bike. Well, sort of, my first try to have, um, see where my fitness is at. Um, yeah, this is a um, long time off the bike again, another three or four months, hang on. Uh, need to change my gears. Um, it brings me to a topic of mental health. I know it's not a topic everybody wants to speak about, but it's important because during this time that we that we are going through, I think it's so tough on our minds, personal lives, emotional state, spiritual state. You choose which one. Whew, I'm out of breath. And now the question is, how are you guys coping? What do you guys do to cope with that? I know riding is another out for everybody else, but not a lot of people can cycle it out or have the time to cycle it out. Oh, riding helps so much. So much blood or oxygen in your blood and you work out all the stresses and you realize how unfit you've become over three months and that's another depressing state all right easy 70 k's in a day but now i struggle to do 20 and then take a day off afterwards <laughs> it's so so relaxing after a ride my wife always says I'm a different person when I come back from a ride so I told her she should try it sometime it's awesome but generally after a ride I sit down close my eyes and just breathe in breathe out I can feel my heart pumping. I can feel the endorphins running through my body. It's such a peaceful, relaxing state to be in. That's if that's if my legs or my ass isn't cramping or my lower back is spasming. It is a peaceful state to be in. <laughs> you see, not everybody has the ability to deal with stress, stress like somebody else can. I mean, uh, men, women, children, adults, they all deal with stress a very, very, very different way. We cycle, we get to see this. We get to go in the mountains and be one with nature. But sometimes that doesn't cut the beans. Sometimes the stress levels it's just beyond normal so what do you guys do i mean with covid with the lockdowns we used to go to friends and chat you know kids used to play with their friends and now it's all online new stresses develop all new type of um uh, 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 how can i say syndromes or not syndromes but things are coming up where kids struggle to concentrate because they're not seeing their friends struggle to behave because they're not with their friends adults um being with each other 24-7, 365, it becomes stressful. We all need a way to escape, to, to, to you know, vent our type of stresses. So mental health is very, very important um, with, for everybody. Even though you don't think it, it plays such a big role. And it gets dismissed like a cold and a flu. A cold and flu takes even more preference in mental health. Tell, t tell your boss, I'm, I'm taking off because I've got flu. That's acceptable, but tell your boss you're taking a mental day or a day off because you're having a mental day. That doesn't fly well with everybody else. Some people might suffer from something else. I suffer from social anxiety. I also have PTSD and I can't be around lots of crowds. I can be a homebody because I've always been a loner because my social anxiety. I game a lot, play with online with friends, but the moment we have to go out, I don't enjoy it. I don't like being around people, it sets, it sets me off, sets my anxiety off, and then my PTSD, PTSD is triggered. 
So a lot of people deal with it in a funny way. Myself, I hide it. I dig it away. Other people explode, break down, cry, have a mental breakdown. It's so important for everybody to know how to vent and find the release to, to stop those triggers from happening. Um, so many signs to know that you're overloaded emotionally, spiritually, your mind is just not coping. There's sleep, sleep disorders, eating disorders, snapping at people, easy triggered, um, not in the mood for anything, don't want to really want to work. You know, all those things um, are triggers to know that not trigger signs that you, you, you've reached your, your top. And it's so important for you guys to, you know, seek help, find someone to speak to. There are so many numbers um, you, can, you can call. I'll put it in the description below. Um, some of the numbers you guys can call to, um, to seek help if you need. Even a friend, call a friend, start a chat, go out for a braai if you can. Go for a walk on the beach. Uh, let it be like a personal chat with your mates or girlfriends, what have you not. It is, it's paramount that you guys need to help or seek help, not need help. I don't want to say anybody needs help, but seek help if you have an issue because those things can't be fested. Um, and I'm learning that now for so many years, fest, uh, like digging stuff away, hiding problems, issues that I've experienced in my life. And it's only coming to surface now, uh, years later. So it's so important for you and for everybody, your child as well. I mean, kids, social disorders is, is a big thing to seek help and to, um, yeah, I know, you all have to stand together and help each other. I'm quite lucky that my, my work provides three servers to, I think, six sessions for myself, my wife and immediate family. To deal with, you know, marital issues, mental health issues, psychological issues, anything to chat about and um, to see where, you know, what can be done to help or mend what's wrong. Or... So I'm quite lucky that way. We, um, we're in a society that um, take a mental health or happy mental health for granted yeah not everybody is happy but everybody has coping mechanisms to deal with what's happening go for a walk go for a run play with your dog play with the kids play computer games walk in the mountains go for a hike there's so many alternatives to um to, to, for coping mechanism to deal with you know, mental strain emotional strain Look, I'm not going to harp on about it, it's difficult as it is for everybody to speak about it. So all I'm saying, all I'm going to leave you with is, what I keep telling my wife, stop stressing about the future, it hasn't been written yet. Stop worrying about the past, the only thing you can do is learn from the past. What you do today determines the outcome for tomorrow. So if you did your best today, tomorrow will be fine. You don't have to stress about that, so stay in control of your day-to-day -day activities. So, at the end of the day, worry about the things you can control. So I'm going to leave you here. Hope you guys have a great day. Be careful, look after each other, and take it safe.